Most MBB applicants see frameworks as very helpful for their interview preparation because frameworks are actually easy to remember and provide an overarching frame that can be referred to at any point in time when explaining a specific phenomenon that is perceived, at least by the applicants, to be related to that specific framework. So that sounds great, doesn't it? Finally, something that gives you the security in the super competitive and hard selection process of McKinsey, Bain and BCG. So finally something you can yeah, learn by heart to be prepared for your moment of truth. But what most people really do not understand is that a framework is usually something that is an end product of many messy analyses something that is in the end trying to put most learnings together and make them digestible for communicating them to a broad and senior audience more easily and that means a framework is rather a checklist that can be followed to spot potential reasons that could or could not be relevant in your MBB interview case. However, the problem with this is that this checklist is usually very high level and for sure not applicable directly to your problem in your MBB interview. And this is indeed a big problem for you because instead of coming up with an own logically backed up approach to solve an individual case question in a discussion with your interviewer, most applicants seem to stop using their brains recite an okayish fitting framework and then try to force the question at hand into that framework. And guess what the interviewer at MBB will expect from you. Yes, you guessed right. This is not an exam and there is no clear right or wrong and you will get evaluated mostly based on the how you arrived at the solution instead of the solution itself. So please, do yourself a favor and approach every single question logically and do not try to force them into a pre-learned framework because this is a nearly 100% secure way to fail your interview. So think about it.